All right, everyone, I want to share with you some uh, information I have uh, put together regarding this um, total, total eclipse that is going to take uh, place in April. And uh, I want you to be just prepared for what could happen and uh, what could be to come. Now, I find it odd that uh, we know uh, the precautions with uh, a full solar eclipse uh, don't look directly into the sun and uh, the harm that it can do um, to you physically. But why are they putting out tips for the total eclipse? And it's called eclipse tips. Why are they closing schools? Why are there going to be school closings? on April the 8th, why do they advise, according to my documents here, why do they advise that you schedule appointments on that day early? Keep cash on hand. They want you to keep some extra cash on hand on the day of the eclipse. Fill up your cars, your vehicles with gas. Fill up gas cans and keep a generator handy. When has this ever pertained to an eclipse? They tell you to not look at the sun, don't look directly at the sun, and wear special glasses, but they never tell you that the schools are going to close or that uh, to schedule appointments early or to fill up your gas tanks and to make sure you have extra gas and cans and generators, and uh, especially this one. Expect heavy traffic long lines at service stations. I find that very simple. You can do a search on this yourself and see. Now, there has to be some type of explanation, and we can go on and we can go on. But when we're looking at, let me see if I can pull any of this up for you here. I find it just uh, very interesting. Bear with me. For a minute it's so difficult to do this um experience the total solar eclipse april the 8th let me see if i can pull this up bear with me for just a moment and uh, they give you a lot of tips see it in person join us for eclipse orama uh 2024 our two-day festival in texas featuring music science, lodging, and more for a for for a total eclipse. They were having a music festival when uh, uh, the Jewish people were attacked and slaughtered. I'm just saying here, view safe. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, view safely. Eclipse glasses are the safest way to experience a solar eclipse. When a trip to Eclipsorama, it's like they're getting ready to worship something and learn more about solar eclipse. But um, why would you need to make sure you have uh, gas in your cars? Your vehicles are filled up and you have gas cans and a generator. Why do they? expect heavy line have heavy lines and traffic at uh, uh, the service stations and uh, why are the why are schools gonna close for a total eclipse and why should you schedule your appointments early I I and have extra cash on hand to see a total eclipse but what else is coming with this eclipse now we know that uh, it is now has made the X a sideways cross when we're looking at prophecy and the devil comet. Why do they call it a devil comet? Comet. Um, let me see if I can uh, do this here. Bear with me for a moment. I want to just kind of do away with that. And let's take a look at this comet. A minute and um, what is the significance of this happening at the exact same time i didn't want to make too long of a video but uh, let me 
see if I can pull this down. Bear with me for just a moment. When we take a look at uh, the images. Now, here is someone has made this image, made this image, and it looks like a devil with horns. Is there some event that the elite are planning? Is it some type of uh, satanic ritual that may be getting ready to take place? Or is it a devil uh, comet at all? Look at here, as you see, it, it appears to have wings. Could it be an angel? Some are speculating, or could it be actually Planet X, Nibiru? That's things we're going to have to uh, take a look at. I'm looking at the bigger picture. I'm looking at everything. Uh, the significance of the day. You know, the elite, the satanic, the cultist, those that are in the occult, they'll use events and timelines for their satanic uh, blood rituals and the things that they want to pull off. And what is going to happen? Could the rapture take place of the church on that day? Was that an angel coming to sound the trumpet on April 8th? There are so many things that we're looking at. Could this be planet X, Nibiru? Are we really at that time? Some things to look at. Is that a devil-born planet or is that an angel? Or is it planet X? And we got to look at um, the presidential election. They, they can't seem to stop Donald Trump. And they've got to come up. They got to create a crisis out of chaos. Are they getting ready for chaos? Is the world going to see chaos on April the 8th? Stay tuned. I'm still checking into this. Leave me comments, please.